Three weeks ago, on a Sunday night, about eight o'clock, I got a call from the U.S. Embassy in Hanoi, Vietnam, and they said, Marcus, you know that next year we're going to have a big celebration of 20 years of normalization between the United States and Vietnam. We would like you and BSU to be our partner for planning and carrying out all of the activities for the 20th commemorative celebrations. There are three reasons why we would like you to work with us. First, we have noticed when you have worked here, you have always done it in co-production with partners on the ground where you work with them to produce a successful effort. The second reason we would like to work with PSU is because in the work you have done in Vietnam, you have developed strong relationships with many different partners. Third, we need a partner with strong cross-cultural understanding. So that's the kind of partnership that we are looking for. Extending beyond Vietnam, PSU Center for Public Service International Programs reach out to over 30 countries, all connecting public administrators from around the world with peers and experts here in the state of Oregon to exchange ideas, build relationships, and create solutions to some of our world's most complex problems. Empowering each and every program are the same three essential competencies recognized by the Vietnamese government. But what exactly are these competencies and what makes them so effective? Co-production is an approach at the heart of each program in which solutions and systems are developed not from the top down, but rather created by all parties involved together in concert. The notion that a government entity owns, this, owns both the problem and the solution um, is a, such an old-fashioned notion. It produces government that is unsustainable. The co-production model, in my particular case, allows me to let them have enough space to have safe challenges and work out their own solutions as they figure out how to become a team of 18 people to get things done. You get the right to speak during the class. Uh, you can ask questions. You can tell your point of view. You can you can like debate with other class members and see what they think. We need to to have more communication and discussion with the public agency and leaders in Vietnam in order to really know the demand, the training demands, and what are really helpful and relevant. To create better governance, all the programs focus on not just spreading ideas, but on creating strong human relationships between hosts and visitors. This creates long-term bonds of trust, as well as active communication pathways for ideas, information, and innovation to travel across the globe as the future unfolds. In Oregon, we're very interactive between people and those types of cultures depend upon deep relationships for building trust and legitimacy. So doing a lecture in front of a class and trying to engage them in my material is one thing, but being in, uh, in a beer pub and asking them questions about the work that they're doing and then trying to relate the principles and experiences that I'm bringing to the program to that um, 
uh, adds a richness that's really quite remarkable. I never imagined that we would have these kinds of relationships and we would we would develop this kind of closeness and civility to to speak. Sometimes it's through interpreters, sometimes it's through very halting English, and sometimes it's through a little of each. One of the things that, that I think about um, and reflect happily and uh, happily on during my uh, from my time in Vietnam was bringing the Vietnamese students and our team together um, into a karaoke room and getting the, getting the group to laugh together and sing together and, and really just break the ice, uh, made for a stronger trip. What we find now through research over many years and continues to emerge is that when we actually deepen our relationships with each other, our colleagues laterally and vertically, people who work for us and the people for whom we work, when we deepen those relationships, our respect for each other increases, our ability to speak with each other and listen to each other increases, and we can actually hear each other, sometimes for the first time. Central to all the programs is a focus on creating in each participant an expansive, rich understanding of the cultures with which they are interacting. This allows for a far better understanding of the context in which methodologies are most likely to succeed, as well as creating tacit understandings about how people across the world live their lives and what values are most meaningful to them. It's not that the Japanese folks or Korean folks are coming here to tell those folks what is done in Japan or what is done in Korea. The learning comes from the international exchange. When we think about uh, the great Senator uh, Hatfield and his ideas of bipartisanship, and then we take those ideas and bring them to an international theater, what we have there, at least in my view, among other things, is cross-cultural understanding. We find many things, uh, so some surprising insights about America, some surprising insights about what they thought about community and leadership, public service. But oftentimes one of the things that they will say is one of the things that surprised them the most is how little they actually knew about their brothers and sisters from other Arab countries. Poland and Oregon are special place. And I think it's a very, very good, you know, living uh, laboratory for public officers coming from Vietnam. And they, when they come here, they can learn, uh, you know, real governance model. I found it a very great opportunity to teach, to teach people here about my country, where I come from, about the Middle East, North Africa, Arab world, and on the other hand, they teach me stuff too about the U.S. that I didn't know about before. As the world becomes more complex and its challenges more daunting, our ability to create effective governance will rest on our capacity to bring together the talents, insights, and creativity of people from every corner of the globe. The international programs at CPS have and will continue to create just these kinds of human connections, conversations, and solutions the world over. So if you think about in the last several years what's been happening in the Arab world, in particular the Arab Spring, this is an amazing opportunity for growth, for learning on all sides. When we really hear each other, we can begin to find out what's on their mind. What do they care enough about to act on? And when we get to that, then we're in a vein of gold. Because when we touch things that we care about, and we can invite others to touch things that they care about, that's when we can move the dial. That's when we can make a difference. What we're basically doing is we are on the cutting edge of understanding what the relationship of public administration is to governance and its role in society. And it's from the result of looking at a common thing, public administration, with two different socio-political economic perspectives. And when you look at it through different lenses, what you discover is you learn more about yourself. You learn as much more about yourself as you do the other players. They only get to meet like three, four, five people from each country, but these, con uh, these uh, candidates back home, they are true leaders, so they have effect on their communities. We have approximately 220 participants so far. Uh, they are all back in the community trying to use that creativity to make a difference. When I think of Vietnam, they, like Oregon and the United States, confront a series of very complex challenges. So we need innovative 
solutions to these challenges. And I think that Oregon, because of its history, because we are pragmatic and innovative, we can use that to work with the Vietnamese and to learn together so that we can both overcome these complex challenges. For over a decade, the PSU Center for Public Services International Programs have been building connections and fostering conversations between public administrators across the globe. A mission more important to our world than ever, which they will continue to carry forward in the Mark O. Hatfield tradition in the years to come.